Unleash your creativity with this tutorial on mastering for captivating text effects in CapCut PC. Start by going to the text app and add default text to the timeline. Type in your desired text and customize the font and style to your preference. Next, head to the animation tab and apply the squeeze animation. Adjust the duration to 0.3 seconds. Navigate to stock materials and add a black background to the timeline. Select both the text layer and the black background, right click and create a compound clip. Add the background clip to the timeline and place it at the bottom layer. Adjust the duration as needed. Click on the text compound clip, go to Video Basic. Click on Blend and choose Darken. Then lock the top track. Click the background clip. Adjust the position in the preview screen as needed. Then unlock the top layer, select the two layers, right click, and create another compound clip. Copy and paste the duplicate. Rotate the duplicate twice, and then mirror it. Next, Go to the video mask and choose horizontal. Right click, create a compound clip. Go to video basic, adjust the duplicate position on the preview screen. Next, Go to the video mask and choose horizontal again. Drag the mask arrow to add some feathering. Now head to the effects tab and apply the blur effect. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. To start, copy and paste the video to the second layer. Click the second layer, go to Video Cutout, and click Auto Cutout. Next, let's add some text. Type in your desired text. And feel free to play around with fonts, colors, and sizes. Add 
add the stroke. Adjust the text layer duration. Move the text layer between the two video layers. Move the play cursor to the end of the text layer. Copy and paste text layer. Change text color to black. Add a little stroke. Head over to the Media Library section and drag a black video onto the timeline below the duplicated text layer. Use the Freeze menu to lengthen the clip. Select both the text layer and the black video, then create a compound clip. Place the compound clip at the top layers. Select the compound clip, go to the Video Basic tab. Scroll down, click on Blend, and choose Brighten. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. To start, head to the library and add a green screen effect. Adjust the zoom to focus solely on the green screen element. Then add the text to the timeline. Changing the text color to red. Select text layer and green screen. Right click and create a compound clip. Move the compound clip to the second track. Then drag and drop the video into the timeline. Click on the compound clip, go to cutout, select chroma key, and point the color picker to the text color. Adjust the strength and shadow for precise selection. Export this video. Now, back in CapCut, delete all the clips. Drag and drop the video you just exported into Timeline and place it on top. Then, import your second video as well. Click on the top layer, go to Cutout, enable Chroma Key, and point the color picker to the green background. Adjust Strength and Shadow. And there you have it. Repeat this process to create a second double exposure effects video.
Now we have to double exposure effects video. We can add transition to make it even cooler. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this raindrops video as an example. You can find similar videos and download them by searching for raindrop and rain on pixels.com or pixavay.com. To start, drag and drop this video into the timeline. Next, add a default text to the timeline and adjust its duration. Type the text that you want. Choose a bold type font and increase the font size. Now head to the animation tab and click on loop. Select the Animation Wobble 3. Adjust the animation speed to match the video. After that, select the text and create a compound clip. Then, go to the Video tab. Change the blend mode of the compound clip to Soft Light. Click the raindrop video, reduce the opacity to 80%. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.